Hey, what's going on guys? My name is Alex Lugo and today I'm going to show all of you how to use the Messin and Ninja build systems. If you find this video helpful by the end of it, please consider giving a like and supporting my channel. Now with all that out the way, let's get into the actual video. Messin is a build system designed for a couple different languages. If you go to the website here, it'll tell you it can be used for C, C++, D, Fortran, Java, and Rust. Messin is a actually a pretty good build system for all this because what it does is instead of building the code itself, it's like a meta build system. So it builds code for a different build system called Ninja, which is what will actually compile your code. And it does this because Ninja is a different, a completely different style of build system. It is designed to be very fast and very efficient but it is also extremely hard for humans to write code for the ninja build system. So I will not be writing any ninja code today, I will only be writing in Messin, and that supports ninja as a backend, as do a few other meta build systems that I hear about. Fun fact, Messin is also implemented in Python. So the whole interpreter that actually reads the code that you're writing in for the build system, that's all written in Python. In order to show you guys how Messin and Ninja work together, I have two examples here. We have example.c, classic hello world, and we have example.rs, which says hi to my mother. Let's see how we would create a Messin file for either one of these. So you want to create Messin.build, which is the like make file of the Messin build system. Uh, so we're going to give it a project, we're going to say hello, and this is going to be our C project. So it's going to be a project. As you can see, the language the sort of uh, domain specific language of Messin, it kind of, it is a bit like Python, and actually I already messed it up here, it doesn't support double quotes, which always messes me up because I'm like so used to using double quotes. Uh, so we have an executable, and it's going to pull from example.c, and we're going to call it hello world. How about that? Something nice and easy. So this is like the most basic Messin file you can create for Messin.build, so let's go ahead and run this. Okay, so to run our file here, our messin.build, all you have to do is say messin, and then we'll give it the name of like some output directory that we want. So we're gonna call this, uh, we're gonna call this bin. You can also say build or out or whatever else you want. So I'm gonna say messin bin, and as you can see, we've created this little bin directory here. And inside the bin directory, you have build.ninja, and all this other weird output that I never care to look at. So we're going to do ninja-c and we're going to give it that directory path which is bin and that's how you run ninja. So if you look at bin now, bin slash hello world right here and that's the executable name. So when we go to say dot slash bin slash hello world, it says hello world. And it's literally that easy to run Messin backend it to Ninja, and then just run the Ninja build system, and then you got your executable. It is extremely over the top, a way too much overkill for hello world in C. I mean, just use GCC in the command line, or just make like a, a make file, like a little script on your own, it's only like two lines. Uh, but, you know, Messin is going to be used, like build systems in general are just better used for very large programs, very large projects, especially Ninja because the fact that it's so fast, you don't really have to worry about such compile time optimizations for like Hello World, right? But if you were building a browser or like an operating system, you would definitely want something as fast as Ninja. So Messin would be a good way to interface with that much more complex, low level build system. So now let's take a look at the Rust example here. It's another Hello World, but it just says, hi mom. Uh, so we're going to change up our Messin code to have it go to that Rust program. So I'm going to have it say mom. That's our project name. It's going to be Rust. Uh, the executable is going to be mom and it's going to be example.rs. So let's actually see how this will work. Now I want to put it into build instead of bin. So we're going to do that. Ninja-c build. And then we'll look at build. See, it's got mom right in there. And that's just build slash mom. There we go, it says hi mom. So it compiles C, Rust, Java, C++, D, and Fortran. Now, another cool thing about Messin and Ninja 
or using Ninja with Messen is if I change the code here, there we go. So I say howdy worlds, I can say ninja dash C bin, and then what you'll see here, did I call it hello? Oh, that's right. <laughs> so let me just change this back to C real quick. Okay, there we go. So what I was very poorly trying to illustrate is that once you've run Messin and then given it some directory path, once you've done that once, you don't ever have to do that again. If you want to recompile, just your ninja C and then whatever the name is. So now that I've uh, now that I'm done switching between languages, let's actually set it to just one, get rid of everything, and then run this stuff again just to show you guys in a much less confusing example. Okay. So we're gonna call it, we're gonna stick with bin. I like bin, so we're gonna do mess and bin, uh, ninja dash C bin, dot slash bin slash hello world, howdy world. Now if we change this thing back to hello, and we do ninja dash C, hello world, and see it's changed from howdy back to this. And I've only run the mess and thing once, you only have to run it once in the entire project, so that's pretty nice. So this is a top secret project that I think I've actually showed on this channel without really explaining it before. So I actually did decide to use Messin and Ninja together as the build system for this project. And it's in C++ as you can see right here. So there's a lot more you can do in Messin apart from just defining the name of your project. So you know, you can have like include directory, you can declare variables, and there's like there's a function here that'll wrap a bunch of strings into like your include directories bin. Uh, you can do the same with like defining libs with like dependencies. And this is particularly nice in languages like C. Like in Rust, you know, you got Cargo that does this. Uh, I think C and probably Java will be the two best languages. You know, C, C++ and Java will be like the two best languages to be using like includes and libs and whatnot because it's, it's a pain to like wrangle all those together. And then I can create this executable, where I call it feather, and source slash main.c++, that's pretty standard, and you can just like set the include directories and set the dependencies to these variables that I defined here. So include works the same way you would with like using the GCC compiler with like the dash uppercase i. You just define like where's the source path for that entire include directory for all the header files. And then with this, what you have to do is, I think you just declare the name that package config gives it. But let me check real quick. Yeah, that's looking like it. So, you know, it says ATK matches up with that. So that makes finding C, C++ dependencies super easy. I would recommend, I would not recommend doing package config list all and then searching through the output because that takes way too long. I was considering doing a project where it's like a it's like a local package manager for C, C++, Java, languages like that that don't have their own nice cloud-based package manager like Node.js or Rust do. You know, I I say that like it doesn't already exist, but you know, I don't know. It's it would be like a fun little project just to mess around with if I'm bored one day, but like you know, it's probably not going to go anywhere big. But, you know, if you guys have any thoughts on that, definitely leave them in the comment section down below. I didn't show off everything there is to Messin today, but if you go onto their website here, they've got like tutorials, they got reference, they got tutorials. They got a whole bunch of stuff on the Messin website. So it's a really good resource and it's where I learned everything I know about the Messin build system. If you wanna learn more about the Ninja build system or if you are a masochist and you would like to one day write a build file in Ninja, Hint, hint, I probably will do that in a future video. You can go ahead and check it out at this URL here. And like the Messin website, I will have both URLs in the description of this video. Okay, that's about all I've got for today's video. So if you liked it, please like, share, comment, subscribe, follow my social media, or click the little notification bell so that way you can stay updated whenever I post a new video.
If you'd like to help support the channel, consider watching any of the other videos that are popping up around the screen here. If you've been looking for a good build system for C, Rust, D, C++, Fortran, or Java, hopefully I've given you exactly what you need by showing you how to use the Messen build system. Thank you all so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time.